Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready to go. It's right in my face. It's like I'm sucking a dick, right? What do you mean? I went to college <laughs> oh, in it's school. Nice. It's, that's the Maybe that's too close. It's like you're sucking a dick. What, under a microphone <laughs> close by your face? What's, yeah. what school? Broadcasting school. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's <laughs> professional shit. Broadcast you. Yeah. yeah. Broadcast you. Was that online? Right. Uh, no, it was all in person. Oh, cool. It, it was in a garage. It was a startup, Hey, Casey, you, you know? talking to your mic? Broadcast you. Broadcast you. Yeah, I sucked a lot of dick there. Uh, Erica? Hello, yeah. hello. Hey, have we started already? Is it going? I, don't I mean, so. technically, okay. it is recording. Okay. So. Pull it closer and not right in your face. Yeah, okay. pull it down a little s- and a little bit no, closer. No, not higher. Okay, higher, closer. <laughs> closer to Williams' <laughs> wait, 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 wait. side. I got it. Right this? Like this. Yeah, I mean, that yeah, sounds good. Thinking. I would say if you're going to... Lower, you're lower. like blocking your face. If you have a tendency okay. to talk Down. toward William, <laughs> bring it on his side. There you go. Okay, we're good? Yeah, because it's not blocking. Yeah. You did it. You really yeah, went I to know. the broadcasting I'm, school, and this I'm, is happening? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. sucked right. Abity Dicks at the broad, which is a joke about microphones, which that's fun. Yeah, it is. I didn't it's realize a, that. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I have a very fun personality. That's what led me to want to go into broadcasting in the first place. But cool. I I, uh, I can't do simple stuff like bring a microphone to my face or show up to things on time. That's another thing in broadcasting. Mm. Like, yeah, it's very. Well, I was late today, so don't yeah. say that. Well, I'm late all the time, like like all the time. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's what me and my girlfriend have in common. She's also late. You know. Well, that's <laughs> funny. Y'all met each other. Yeah. Cool. That's very uh, we're, cool. We're, we're not even started yet. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'll just stop talking. We're rolling. We're rolling. We've been rolling. Yeah, we've been rolling. This is happening. Okay. This it's, is happening. Yeah, it's happening right now. Okay. Like because <laughs> I don't hear anything on the headphones. That's why uh, I thought that would be a sign that oh, we're rolling. No wonder. Oh wait. Grab the other yeah, headphones. Have him grab the other ones. This plugged in. Try the other ones. You might have the wrong. Yeah, Grant. I don't hear shit. You too? Do uh. you seriously not? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Well, how did you hear that? <laughs> Because I kind of hear his, I see, hear a little voice back there, hey, so do I know you hear he's me? talking. But testing, I don't know testing, one, two, three. Check, Wait. Check. <laughs> Wait, what? Testing, testing, one, two, three. What? The one is oh, wrong. <laughs> you little rap scallion. No, I'm, so, I'm starting I... to think you did not no, go to broadcasting dude, wait, 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 Yeah, me too. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I still don't hear anything on, on these headphones. Wait, uh, what was it? It was just flipped like, around? Shouldn't I, shouldn't I, shouldn't I, no, <laughs> no, it was like for that. Like that. Put these on, dude. Like, they're not, I don't, okay. Uh, what? What happened? I remember oh, my first headphone. Oh, see? Oh, yeah, John unplugged that earlier. Huh? <laughs> I saw you down there. Yeah, we saw I thought you. it was the perfect crime. <laughs> the cameras <laughs> weren't rolling yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he unplugged some. It's called reverse psychology, guys. By yeah. my apparent mistake, <clears throat> I've assumed control of the room. <clears throat> well, you've done it. Yeah. It's real Machiavellian type stuff, bro. <sighs> Machiavelli. I'm very Machiavelli. I wonder how Turbyville's doing. Turbyville? Um, he's he's having a kid. With a guy? I didn't know other guys could have children. He's a pioneer in that way. It's, he's the first. I'm man. kidding. He always sends me the pictures of people's penises. <laughs> I could see, show you our text messages. You're still here? Um, yeah. I, I I mean I don't feel like I hear anything, but honestly, I'm just gonna take these off. I don't like, hear anything. If it says, if it oh, okay. I mean, if it says we're recording, I can just take these off and we can, uh, if that's cool. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Pretty risky. Okay. Who's yeah, Turbyville? It um, is some oh. guy I randomly met and he's, y'all are buddies. Yeah, Turby he's from Bill. my uh, hometown comedy club, <clears throat> the Blue Room Comedy Club. I don't want to say where I'm from. Can I be mysterious? Can yes. I be? Because I don't. Well, now people will find Blue Room and know that where it is. Where is it? Indiana? It's in the Midwest. What Indiana? What state? Uh, Missouri. St. Louis, Abysmo. No, 
St. Louis uh, Obispo. Uh, <laughs> I think number three. N- number three in Springfield. What? Hold on. So what is the place called in California with Obispo in it? San, San Luis. Luis. I got it. San Luis I can, Obispo. I can, hear, I can hear now. We're good. Oh, nice. Okay. Welcome Bisbee, back. We've Arizona. Been switched on. That's where Doug Stanhope lives. Bisbee. Y'all Bisbee. can hear now? So you're from Bisbee. Yes. I'm from Bisbee. Um, I'm a beekeeper in Bisbee. St. Louis Obispo. That's pretty funny. <coughs> These is are the, so this is, is the a, type of stuff I bring to the table, dude. Is, is oh my god! Week after week, it's is, good stuff like that. Is that a is that a baseball player, <laughs> St. Louis Obispo? A no, it's a place in California. We were just talking about it. Na- it's also a place in Missouri. No, named after <laughs> a baseball player, St. Louis Obispo. What team did he play Maybe for? I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he's a team? baseball. I don't know. I, I don't need You're to know. Lying. I'm just pretty sure he was a baseball player. Probably, the, probably one baseball. of those old teams, like the Milwaukee Milk Runners or something. Yeah, one of the 1800s yeah. teams. They were really good, by the way. The Milk Runners. Yeah. The Milk Runners. Back w- before science just ruined everything in sports, dude. Dude, to be super God. good. Sports yeah. science? Yeah, have you ever seen sports science? They break down how all the muscles work when you throw a volleyball. Uh-uh. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> They're like the abdomen reticulates to the fucking strenuine. Makes a and huge then you're gasp. nailing the ball. You're, you're spiking it. Wow. I think, I think all that stuff, stuff's exaggerated, bro. You know? <laughs> Man, I remember going to some gymnasium with my father growing up. I was a very little boy, and he would he was on some volleyball league, I guess, some indoor volleyball <laughs> league. And I just remember a bunch of guys walking around with knee pads on, and I would there were a couple other kids there, and we'd play around on mats. And I, I feel <laughs> like knee, strange. knee pads in volleyball are the equivalent to like wearing a helmet while you're on a scooter or a bike kind of like why do you need knee pads in volleyball like, what so you need to do it what are you talking about do you not wear a helmet when you're bicycling I've n- i don't even know how to ride a bike i'm just Bullshit. saying it's not about me personally. <laughs> it's about like the analogy like i'm just saying if you're playing volleyball right like you got to be hard you know what i'm saying like yeah you, you gotta need, be tough yeah you gotta be yeah. super tough i um, mean on a beach not on a hardwood floor I mean, but that's going to skin up your right? knees. I mean, there's other sports that are getting CTE for playing their thing, man. You can't bruise up your well, knees a little true. bit. True. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. There's plenty actually, of other sports people getting CTE. What is going on with CTE? I, Who is that anyway? I think, I think that I actually, I, I've been more at risk playing sports than those football players because I was in Special Olympics when I was a kid. Nice. This is a true story. I was in Special Olympics <laughs> when I was a kid. And they didn't differentiate by, like, age or disability or anything. And it was always the same team. (laughs) It was always the same team every week. And this one guy on the other team who was this mentally challenged guy that was, like, 16, 17, like, six foot tall, he would just run after me, like, run after me every week. And I just hand him the ball. Right? And I feel Wait, like what you, were y'all playing? What sport were you playing? Did I say it was basketball? I was picturing him just running after you whenever he saw you at the Special Olympics like was, pavilion. He would just start running after yeah. your ass. It, it was uh, it was the six foot tall retarded guy. Hey, you, after said, me. you said that word not well, me, I'm kidding. You no, s- I'm uh, kidding. Like, he honestly, like that guy, kind of attacked me and like charged at me. So, may, can I call him retarded? Like, no, don't that's do pretty retarded. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm not saying all of them. Well, if he's so literally, if all he's doing is going after you and he's not even participating in the Special okay. Olympics, yeah, that's dumb. The other thing he did was he played with his balls too. Like he just played with his balls. And then, like, he would just, like, come after you and, like, want to get the ball. And that's a good way to keep the ball. Like, now that I think about it, you know, like... like, What do you mean a good way to keep the ball is always to be messing with your balls? Yeah, because you're not going to want the ball back. You're not going to steal it from him if you've just been playing with his balls, right? move. Yeah. Like, that one could work in the pros, dude. That's That's what Nick Saban always teaches his players. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he has the mentality of, like, a seven-time champion. He's a seven-time champion these days, Nick Saban. Nick Saban? (laughs) Yeah, I, I honestly, here's the yeah, truth. Yeah, he teaches ball stuff. Seriously, people are less likely to touch the ball after or catch the ball if you're putting your hands on your balls. People yeah. are less likely. It's like, especially in like a time of an uh, of an epidemic, you know? Mm-mm. I feel yep. like in these times, someone touching their balls and then... What's your favorite yeah. epidemic of all time? Probably the 1918 flu, you know, because they didn't have all the science yet. And they were like, what is this? You know, germs ain't 100% real. I heard those was just an exaggeration. And it just mm-hmm. wiped out a lot of people. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> it's funny stuff. <laughs> it's funny yeah, they stuff. thought it was like a witch, like a yeah. witch. I uh-huh. think like Harry S. Truman or whatever was like, that's a 
fucking wedge, dude. Yeah, yeah. that's a wedge. It yeah. was him. It was Harriet S. Tubman was there, I think, as mm-hmm. well. It was a we, it was a Pablo Escobar. The top lines. Pablo yeah. Escobar was there. I, I feel like Harry S. Truman and Harry St. Louis, Missouri, St. Louis Obispo, Missouri. Wait, so you're from, so where is the club? Hold on, uh, where's the club? So you're from Missouri. Yeah, I'm from Missouri. Um, where Turbyville's from, where our Turby- mutual friend. Yes. Um, he, did I say he was having a kid? Yeah, you told me. Oh, okay. Because, like, uh, that is, like, big news. Yeah, I just heard Well, that's really exciting. Good Congratulations. Yeah, I don't know if the podcast listeners heard, you know, Thomas Turbyville's having a kid. Uh, triplets, in vitro Ooh, fertilization. Triplets. Bun he's, in the oven. He's gonna be on Maury. It, it's an exciting uh, opportunity for him. <laughs> um, uh, but no, I'm so I'm from Springfield, Missouri. I'm from the Bible Belt. You know Tyler Large? Yes. Yeah. Mm, the Madman. They call him yeah. the Madman from Sudan. Totally twisted. T Large. Yeah, he is. He's man. totally twisted. Hi, Tyler. Demented. He's gonna, he's gonna love that you brought him up. <laughs> He's the yeah, best. Yeah, hey, Tyler. That guy hey, Tyler. and his gay raps is pretty funny. He has a thing called What's gay that? raps. Yeah, uh, he just—I uh, <laughs> can't even describe it. Like you have to see it. Like, uh, but it's like just a bunch of gay stuff that he like raps into like cool. a microphone at a mic. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm—I honestly okay. So with any comedy, like describing it, I can't do it. Like. You just have to be there. And when I try to describe things, I'm not very good at it, you know? <laughs> what I'm saying, guys, is I don't think I can do this, man. Stop. I just can't describe yeah, it. Yeah, you can. You're spiraling. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm out of control. <laughs> you really know. don't know how to ride a bike? No. Could you physically do it? Could you physically do it with so, how you're set up? Uh, like, okay. So. I, I mean, really, could you or not? Or Because if you can, if you really can, let's teach you how to ride a bike. So It's fun. Like. I fell on a bike when I was seven. Like it was one of my like my third time without training wheels. And I just smacked my nose into the concrete, you know. Yeah. It was like a traumatic experience. <laughs> and I just never tried to learn. So I haven't tried to get on a bike since then. I do ride a stationary bike at the gym, but it's the kind where the pedals cool. are in front, you know. Mm-hmm. Like and when I try to get on the bikes that are like the pedals right below you, it's, it's kind of it's difficult. a little bit yeah. So I don't know honestly. You like, can get one of those cool bikes. That, that, yeah, that's a recumbent not cool. bike. That's not. I don't think they're marketed as cool bikes. I'm pretty sure. You could wear spandex. You could <laughs> have a cool helmet dogs. on. You could yeah. ride along the we trails. Like, mm-hmm. like I, I legit, <laughs> I would wear a helmet if I ever were, rode a bike. I wouldn't. I don't care what people. We think. love recumbent bikes around. Mm-hmm. So cool. Yeah. I, bikes. Like, they, it's great exercise, man. <laughs> you know. And, and like, I think if I took steroids, I could be like a really good bicyclist. Yeah, you should it'd be really fast. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, be... I think. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm from Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> um, some of my passions include movies and mm-hmm. conspiracy theories. I was just talking with Yum. Mr. Rocket about here about Bigfoot. Uh, do you have a take on Hold Bigfoot? Hold on, Casey. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I've been exposed. <laughs> <laughs> my just, true form. Okay, reveal. so <laughs> he, said, he said anybody who believes in Bigfoot is kind of an idiot. And, you know, that's Me said, said that? Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. No. Say that. Um, I'm a big believer. I'm really sweet, and I believe stuff like that. And I believe what? I think he could be out there. Yeah. Me too. Do you? So <laughs> you're from Missouri. Do you know the Big Muddy River? You know yeah. what I'm talking about? It's on the border of Illinois and Missouri, and my <clears throat> great uncle was a policeman. He was the head of the Carbondale, Illinois Police Department in Murfreesboro, Illinois, not Carbondale, Murfreesboro <coughs> Police Department. And he was the first person who saw the Big Muddy Monster. Oh and my God. Oh. Hold on. What's the Big Muddy Monster? The that- Big Muddy Monster <sighs> is a Bigfoot that was seen over the course of one week. In Murfreesboro, Illinois, seen by like a dozen people, and he was he came out of the river, big, huge, ten foot tall, big, long, stinky hair, covered in mud. Smell yeah, was like, he muddy? Smell like shit. Yeah, and people saw him, and my great uncle was Discovered the first person him. to see him, and then he was murdered by his wife because he was abusive. So, <laughs> no, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Soon thereafter, <laughs> or this was years uh, later. After maybe mud- two or three years later. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, I think no. he's a bad person. But he saw yeah. uh, this big old fucking stink beast. So is that no? Is that the skunk ape though? Is that the same thing as the skunk ape? Because that's where it's called. Where I'm from is the skunk ape in Missouri. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean it could be. That's what it's called in Florida, the skunk ape. Yeah. Wait, so Casey, what was it? I don't know, but yeah, a bunch of people saw him, and there was like bands of like hundreds of people going out to hunt it, 
Like it caused kill it. it? Yeah, it caused a huge uproar because it's like really rural area in yeah. Illinois. And yeah, bands of people went to hunt it and they couldn't, they would just miss it or they'd find its tracks. And they were like, the police department released statements. They were like, there's something out there. Like people are seeing some huge creature and stuff. <laughs> but it only lasted a week. That's, and then no I wonder one ever what saw happened it again. To it. I don't know. Flow down the river. Go to fucking Moved on. What, what? Went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Was he yeah, ever like on any kind theory. of TV show or anything like that? What was it? Was he ever on like a TV show or anything like that, like talking about it? No, he was on Murder dot com because he oh. died. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't. Yeah, did yeah. you not hear that part? He <laughs> was murdered, and then you're asking about <laughs> that. On. What website? Doesn't that make it more likely that he was on some kind of TV show if he was murdered after that? Like, I don't know. What TV? Yeah. I don't know. Dateline. Like, I was on. I pictured Harry and files. the Hendersons. When you're thinking about like a monster. <laughs> guy that's a fun monster guy show harry and the hendersons mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I find that really compelling that's a really compelling like life story if i was like investigation discovery or like 48 mm -hmm. hours like some bigfoot witness i was like a police chief that got murdered man yeah, yeah but he also he also beat his wife so i don't think that would uh, like yeah. be good his wife murdered him so how did she do it it's a like big shot him it's a big mystery in my family i think all oh, parties seriously. have passed away but uh, what do you think happened? Do you know? I only heard about it like last summer. So my mom lives up there now in Murfreesboro, and she's drudging up all this old family history. And what? you go up there and visit, and she her. starts talking. Yeah, she got the she got the books. She hear the rumor mill, small town Illinois. Is it fun? Do you People sit talk. down and y'all just start talking? Yeah. yeah, this sounds like fun gossip. Yeah, love love it. Gossip. she live out on this little farm out there. Yeah, so. He was, like, really abusive, and he was a drunk, and he was the head of the police department, like the sergeant or whatever, sheriff. I don't fucking know. And uh, so he would, like, beat her up, and then the no, no one could really do anything because he was the police, you know, yeah. that type of story. And um, he, they say he came – the official story is, like, he came home drunk, and he was threatening the family, and then she shot him. And then she – my mom says when she was growing up, the aunt who killed him would have to go to weekend jail – <laughs> weekend <Wow>. jail. <laughs> yeah. My my buddies in high school had to go to weekend jail too. I don't know if you work out some sort of deal with the judge. What is what that like Friday or something? Yeah, yeah you live murder? a regular weekend. Yeah, 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 weekend jail for murder? Yeah, so oh. weekend jail is like if you have like a job and stuff, like you could work during the week and then just you go to jail, you go at like five PM Friday and then you get out like eight AM Monday to go to work. Yeah. And then yeah. So Not, she had to do that. Not if you're like the family of the victim. <laughs> so we yeah. couldn't even get in jail, but guess what? We got weekend jail. <laughs> yeah, that you know? sounds like every um, weekend when I was growing up in fucking middle school, weekend jail. Just in my parents' <laughs> house. I was never allowed to leave. I was always grounded. That was fucking weekend jail. Man. So I hated that shit. I, I then in high school, my fucking cousin ratted me out at a party we were having some party at some fucking my my buddy's mom's piano studio and we're all drinking and then the cops come and i have weed on me and i'm grounded all second oh, so semester junior year it was a nightmare I... all because of my cousin i need to reach out to i need to reach out to him we haven't talked as much. It's very awkward. I'm sure he wouldn't see this, but Dad, we were you guys so much. We used to set stuff on fire in the backyard. We would have so much fun. I smoked my first cigarette with him, and then after that, it was oh man, I was pissed. You cut ties, big time, <laughs> big time. And how long ago was this? I don't know. Twenty years ago. Damn, how old it was high school. <laughs> <laughs> 15 years ago I don't know 20 gotta, years ago you gotta get reconnected man it's been like a whole yeah, lifetime yeah I know well bro. maybe I will I need hey to. he's gonna see this it's gonna be he could be the guest on next time right you guys could rekindle your relationship <sighs> yes yeah maybe one day Ooh, so hold on and Casey by the way we finished Hellraiser 2 last night uh -huh. I had only watched the first 15 minutes I that was insane. And what I about know. the new Cenobite? And I, he's just killing all the other ones. I haven't, that was ridiculous. Have you seen it? I, no, I haven't seen the old one either. I'll be honest. Get like, real. I, I've seen, I, I know like what the villain looks like with the needles. Pinhead. That. Yeah. It's, a, it's scary. Pinmas. Scary AF. Pinmas. Richard Pinmas. <laughs> and it's Clive Barker, right? Yes. Who wrote yes. The book. Yeah. So I know what it is. And I heard the new one's really good. Um, uh, well, you yeah. didn't like it as and much. I thought it was funny. Yeah, Eric is here this time. What did you think? I don't know. I love the first one, and even the second one I thought was fun. It was just totally ridiculous. Is, is this the second one is 
the ending where that box thing is the ending is so crazy. I remember she peels her skin off. Yeah. And then yeah. she's like, she gives a smile, like, yeah. You're like, you just peeled your skin off. Like, it was like the most nonchalant. Like, it was a great idea, too. She I, was so smart. Yeah, she had the skin yeah. suit on. And she skin kissed lit. the monster to get, she to get his attention. The monster. Stuff like that happens. So. I watched the new Halloween, and that was crazy how bad that was. Yeah, it was really bad. The newest really? one, the finale, yeah. dude, bye bye. sucked. Um, <laughs> uh, How's it end? Bye-bye, Clive so, Barker. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't really remember. That's why it's it's that bad. It was that unmemorable. I, I have, like, a, I could, like, uh, tell you what happened, like, ten minutes before it ended, kind of. They beat like, the shit out of Michael's, like, arms yeah. and legs. He's, like, old as fuck, and he got to hide under the town because he's so old. He's, like, he really? looked under the town. He's, like, yeah. I don't want to fight no so, more. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> Not yeah. like that, but somewhat like that. He gets, but he literally lived he, under the ground? He gets gathered <laughs> yeah, up Under by the like, town? Yeah, in oh. the sewers. Yeah. No, and then, he's, like, I'm too old. <laughs> Sewer. And then, like, I don't know what was going on with that other kid. I didn't see the second one, like the one in between the first one and the second. So it was confusing to me. But honestly, not enough killing is my is my thing. If it's the yeah. final Halloween, it should be all death all, all the time. All dude. day. What's your Just, favorite kind of death in a movie like that? Um, I would say the. Have you ever seen You're Next? No. Uh, You're Next. There's a scene with a blender where a guy just gets owned with a blender. That's really brutal. Um. And then this isn't like a strict horror movie, but there's a movie called The Guest where it's about this like army guy that snaps and the last 15 <laughs> minutes of the movie is just him killing everybody he sees. Well, he's a super predator because yeah. I, I just watched The Guest like three days ago. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. funny. He was programmed by the army <laughs> yeah. with some sort of special <laughs> serum to make him yeah. a super soldier. Yeah. And he's yeah. got like two Tommy guns and he's just <laughs> fucking everybody yeah. up. It's a wild movie. Yeah. No, and then oh, he's really? like all like nonchalant about it and stuff. Yeah, it's good. But like lately, um, I would say the two I've seen that I really liked were um, Scream 2. Uh, or not Scream 2. The newest Scream mm -hmm. and uh, Prey. Prey. I thought that was good, too. The new Predator movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a yeah. uh, church movie. No, well, so it's P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y. <laughs> oh, I see. I they, see. Yeah, you know, they pray before the monster comes to get them and they still die anyway. <laughs> it's pretty morbid. <laughs> <so. laughs> it's like... This is a time before science, and we don't know what's yeah. going on right now. We're going to pray and then <laughs> just get owned by the alien. <laughs> Nuts, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, you need to watch the Hellraiser movies. Uh, so is that is it about, like, Satan and stuff? Is it, like, satanic? Is that mm. what he's... Is he... Or is yeah, he like, they're, like, hell in hell. Yeah. Yeah. Is he just, like, yeah, a wild guy? Like, I'm going to raise some hell. Exactly. He's, like, yeah. a fun-loving well, dude. Yeah. yeah, dude. Well, he turns into goofballs. his real self, and he gets his... Uh, Throat slit at the end of the second one. You see, and that's the end. Damn, spoiler. Yeah. What? Crazy. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. I, I guess for these, kind of, for these kind of movies, there's not really any spoilers. They're just going to find a way to do a new one, right? Yeah, it'll like, be remade. Kind of, yeah, it'll be repeated. So I don't really care if I know what happens that much. Yeah, they it's kill him. What's your favorite end. remake? Um, uh, Good question. Like of all time mm -hmm. or just like a horror remake? Um, I would time. say so for horror remake, the seventies invasion of the body snatcher with Donald Sutherland. That's a good one. It's Donald Sutherland, one. it's Jeff Goldblum, or the two people I can recall. Like, yeah, but it, it's very like kind of of its time a little bit. Like people look very seventies, but it's like a good update on that idea. And they scream. Um, they go. Yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking yeah. so scary. The, thing, the second one was scary. The thing. That I did. Is uh, the thing's good? Yeah, the thing's a remake. Yeah, People like don't know that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's I like a both of them. Fifties movie. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've seen the first one though, the original. But I would say it's probably the best remake of all time. It's good. Yeah, dude. Evil no. Dead's a good remake. The new Evil Dead is good. It did, the violent. one that just came out came out like ten years ago. Okay, I've never seen uh, those movies with the guy with the chainsaw hand or chainsaw yeah. arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to see that. I saw I the, see that. the first one with the tree rape, dude. There's like some tree rape That's in the first so good. one. Yeah. yeah, it's nuts. Oh, so the <laughs> grossest movie. True. <laughs> grossest movie that I, I would recommend to people. What? That's like, what the fuck? Because it's all just like sexual torture, basically. But it's called <laughs> Sallow or 100 Days of Sodom. Have you guys ever heard of it? Mm -mm. It's, it's, it's like a famous like exploitation movie. And what was it called? It's it's called Sallow. It's an Italian word. S A L O. 
or 100 Days of Sodom. And it's about these like school kids that get captured by these like ultra wealthy people during World War II. And they just make them do like a bunch of like sick, like sexual shit and like torture shit. And it's a really hard movie to watch, but it's actually like a, a smart movie. Like, I don't know if I'd 100% recommend it, but it's like probably the, the most fucked up movie that I like, like that I've seen more than once. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was written cool. by yeah. the guy, the Marquis de Sade, yeah. the guy who the word pa- sadist is, is yeah. based on. Yeah. yeah, it was based on his book. Yeah. yeah. Is that at, was that at what Grant yeah. was showing? That's, I think that that's called Circle of Shit. <laughs> like, that's like the part in the movie where they like, Make them like eat their own shit. Oh, like human centipede. Uh, no, well, so this is an artistic human centipede, though. You know, I've never seen human centipede, centipede was pretty artistic. They connect the mouths to the butt. You know, someone. What I don't like about that movie <laughs> so that is if you that do do it goes. There's three of them. They're all good. And... Like, I I feel like after the third one, you should try like millipede, right? You know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just start calling it millipede. Oh, they did in the third one. They had they about a hundred damn people millipede. in there. They, it was in a prison. Have, they should have changed the name. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Wait, they, I forget that there was a hundred person chain. Oh, yeah. In yeah. It was a better way to feed the prisoners. They got well. It's very <laughs> self aware. It was like you know. And whatever. the second one was good. Yeah. It was like the guy who was a huge fan. <laughs> mm-hmm. The second one is repulsive. The second one, <laughs> I've, so good. I've watched probably thousands of horror movies. The second one is. Probably one of the grossest. Movies I saw I've it in seen. theaters. Wow. Really? It's disgusting. They gave you barf yeah. bags when you went to go see it in theaters. <laughs> what? That's, yeah. It's so gross. That's why I love yeah. horror. Because what other genre? I mean, like it was like that, a little man. theater in Santa Monica, but they totally handed us all barf bags <laughs> yeah. just in case. Um, Terrifier Two is yeah. supposed to be like that, and it's yeah. in theaters now. I watched it last night. Yeah. Oh, funny. I've, I've seen like, like the first mm-hmm. ten minutes of it. Yeah, it's yeah. really ultra violent, but it's really campy, so it's fun. But it's like. Yeah, they gave people, people are fainting in the theaters and stuff that's so gross and violent. Uh, I oh, saw, gosh, disgusting. I saw like the first scene of it <laughs> and I thought it was cool because he, his, the guy's name's Art, right? And he kills somebody. Then he writes Art in blood, like on the mirror, you know? And he's like, he's saying his name's Art, but the director is also saying that this is Art. Damn. Is that what's going on? Deep. Wait, yeah. this is a movie at the movie theater yeah. right now? Yeah, it's called <laughs> Terrifier 2. Cool. <laughs> Very scary. What did you Very dress up scary. as? Yes, I, I didn't at all. I don't do. Okay. I don't do Halloween. Why I'm not? kind of an introvert, man. Like I don't. I don't want to drink and drive. That's you, should, you could have gone trick or treating. Yeah. Well, I'm no. I couldn't have. I'm like in my 30s. Dude. <laughs> they don't care. You wear a mask. That's, and then people see, that's even weirder, dude. Like, they don't care. And it's like a guy in his 30s in a mask. Like, <laughs> they don't know how old you are <laughs> in a yeah, mask. They don't know how old you are. Just don't take the mask off. Get a big rubber mask. This just feels like there's like a bunch of like red flags, like a visceral, like instinctual, like that feels wrong. And then just start breaking into the people's houses <laughs> when you walk up there and they get candy, have a knife, and just take yeah. them in. And... Like, <laughs> that's the start of a good. If, if they're movie. handing yeah. out like treats, you know, they're not looking at their medicine cabinet. You know what I'm saying? Dude? <laughs> That's where, That's where the real to. treats are. Yeah. It's a perfect diversionary tactic. Well, maybe next year, but now it's 364 days until Halloween. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think that after Christmas. I'm like, God, Christmas isn't until 364 <laughs> days now. <laughs> Christmas. It's the longest time. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I feel like Christmas for me. It's too long. Like, because people need it's to do one day. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's no, 24 no, hours. no, it isn't, dude. It's, it's after, like, it's November 1st now. Like, what happened? October. We forgot. No, we forgot about mean? Thanksgiving. We don't even care about Thanksgiving anymore. Dude, do you people, like Thanksgiving? People, it doesn't matter. Do you like Thanksgiving? It it's a federal It does holiday. matter. There's an order to these things. And I'm saying Thanksgiving and then Christmas. And listen, if you want to start Christmas on November 1st, that's fine. No, look, it's fine. If you want to start Christmas on December 1st, is that what you said? Yeah, or November 1st. Because I'm saying that's really when Christmas season starts now. Like, season. Yeah. The holiday is one day. Yeah, but okay. but the whole You don't season, buy all those decorations to use them one day. Y- yeah, you would. No, have, like, that's There's that's a reason for the season. Too long. Like, it's there's a like, reason for the season, John. You no, know, it's like what other holidays like that? Like we decorated for Halloween on okay. September first. Ha- Halloween, maybe there's Halloween <laughs> yeah, September season, September first, and then there's yeah. like there's Christmas season. But no, I think honestly, Christmas is kind of obnoxious, man. 
Whoa. Like it's the same songs oh. every year. <laughs> what about Santa, dude? Yeah, what about Saint Nick? We love Santa. Okay. We, we love about... Santa Claus. Santa Claus. That's, that's trippy, we man. love Santa Claus. <laughs> we love Santa Claus around here. What are you talking Rudolph? about? No, it's creepy, Rudolph. Man. We love Santa Claus. I love Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> we love Santa around here. Why are you even talking <laughs> shit about Christmas, dude? We love dude. Santa Claus. It's a strange man <laughs> coming into your house through your chimney. It's Santa Claus, dude. It's, dude. it's not. It's Sandy. Get over it. Get over right. your. He doesn't like free yes. stuff. He doesn't like free candy. He doesn't this like is, gifts. This is America, gosh darn it! All right, we don't believe free here in America. No, we, we pay for our stuff. Got okay, but that's, that's a real people. like. You know, Holy shit! That's that's like a real thing though, because it's like I don't care about <laughs> gifts as much now that I have a job and I can buy my own things. I feel kind of yeah. weird about. Is it retail? Gifts. Like, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess technically. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I sell phones at the mall. No, uh-uh. how is it? Do you sell them? Um, I, I could think you would be good at. I would I'm, think you'd be I'm good at it. Pack. Like, I, I came, I came to do comedy. Do you know like, any of those good cell phone scams where you I, use the warranty and get a new phone and cancel um, it within a couple days? Not really. That are for the customer's benefit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but like, um. No, but, for you, we have, uh, Erica and I have started doing these cell phone scams. You can make so much money. We've started. We you, could like, for make sure them claim their warranty. And honestly, if you're working at a cell phone store, we actually T-Mobile? might could work the, together. We're really good with T-Mobile. And, oh, yeah, no, uh-uh, it's not T-Mobile. Where are you wearing? I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> like, you know, that, that's Boost? a testament. That's a testament to how big your audience is. It's like I probably no, should. Now, what are that. you even talking like, about? Like, it's, it's fine like, wherever you work. Enough people are gonna. No, enough people are gonna. You think somebody's gonna it. find your ass at the specific store? Have you ever Let's had say your, your store? Have you ever had your identity P- stolen? You. Uh, I mean, may, no, not not You're definitively. Good. Yeah, but uh, but what's your social? Do you work no. at Boost Mobile? Yeah, he I works at Boost. Boost. No, it's not Boost. Cricket. Not Boost. No, it's, <laughs> I work at. I work at one of the real ones. All right. Mm. Don't for, say that about Verizon. Cricket. Don't say that about Cricket. <laughs> yeah, you're saying Cricket isn't one of the big ones? No, it's not, dude. Bullshit. It's a subsidiary. We both used to work at a fucking Cricket. Are you really going to say that? They yeah, we worked at Cricket Corporate at one point. Mm-hmm. The Mall cricket. of America. Yeah, it was in the Mall yeah. of America. You ever been the there? Like, you ever been there? Cricket, cricket doesn't have its own towers, bro. What yeah, you, it's called. It's a phone company called Cricket, dude. Like, I don't understand. Why'd you say the tower thing? Where do you work at a Sear? No. <laughs> I don't Sears. get it. Hold on. Why'd you say the tower thing? Come to Cricket. Thing? Come to Cricket. You'll hear crickets, dude. Why do you, you don't want to hear Come to Cricket. cricket you'll hear dude. crickets. Dude. Did you just come up with don't that? Don't make jokes dude. like that. Dude, Cell phone I, jokes. It just doesn't make any sense to me. That name. Like, Cricket actually kind of bothers me. He thought like, of that earlier. He was no. thinking about yeah, that Yeah, you've earlier. already thought about that. I think about it at least once a week because someone says, I'm with Cricket. Like, what can you do for me? How many times like, you hear that once a week? I'm with Cricket. He's in the industry. Once a month, yeah, dude. it's an industry once a thing. Month, I see. Maybe, yeah, like, <laughs> Trying to poach, yeah. poach salesman. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm Damn. a, I'm a shark. I'm like the Wolf of Wall Street. So you wouldn't go work at a Cricket if the price was right? Um, I, I, I didn't say that. You know, I, I if don't. The price have, was right. You probably uh, yeah, would. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everybody's got a yeah. price. Everybody has well, a price. Ted DiBiase, the million I, dollar man. I don't know, man. I, I, I do have a price. I, I have a. I do have a price. I never but, saw that move. There's so but, many movies. No, he's a I wrestler. <laughs> he's a professional yeah. wrestler. <laughs> the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Everybody's You've got a price. You've never seen him. He's seen was, them all. Was he on that yeah, seventy? I've seen him. Oh. Ted DiBiase, a professional wrestler, wrestled Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. What did he dress up as? He already looked like he had a very thick, unnatural chest, and he wore a very. It had money signs on it. Grant, pull up Ted DiBiase. Everybody's got a price when you're a million dollar man. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) it sounds just like that. It's pretty good. Oh, hey guys, can I can I talk about getting laid? Because that's really what I want to talk about. Yeah, for sure. Get into it. Uh, so, like, that's really why I came into comedy was to get laid. I'm gonna be real, like. People talk about like wanting to be like the best comedian. It's like, no, I just want to bang a lot of chicks. And then, how many chicks have you banged? You in should the past have done hair or something. So in the past week. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, the past week. Is this the, him? The Hold on, is this man. Ted? Oh, Ted DiBiase. Everybody's got a price when you're the million dollar man, baby. So, so you just say that <laughs> some. <laughs> like say that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he said other stuff too, but he looks like that guy from the Food Network, the Bobby Flay. 
Oh. With the... Does he look like Bobby? It does like not Bobby look like Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Not Bobby. Guy, Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah with the goatee uh-huh. or the beard goatee like, thing. Gold I, teeth. I feel like Guy Fieri could play that guy in a movie. Or he could play Guy Fieri in a movie. <laughs> I d- hold on. I didn't say gold teeth. What did I say? <laughs> with his <Yeah>. gold teeth? <sighs> with his goatee. <laughs> What? Not gold, gold teeth. teeth. He could have gold <laughs> teeth. We don't know if he doesn't have gold teeth. Because uh, he, he eats a lot of. He shit. might. Wait, I don't think he no, does. Does he, he eats have a gold lot of shitty teeth? Te- like food, right? He eats a lot of like shitty food. So dude, Ted, you think he has veneers? Yeah, I think he has dentures, dude. I think if we saw. You think Ted DiBiase has dentures? I, I think real. that if you. Bobby Flay, he's saying. I think both of them. He definitely has dentures, right? He's a fucking wrestler, dude. He's pretty old yeah. now. They, no, they like smacked him in the head with like folding chairs and stuff. He probably has CTE. Yeah. You right. think a lot of those wrestlers have CTE? I think that they probably have both CTE and dentures, dude. <laughs> you know? Which one would you take, CTE or dentures? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you had a choice, you know? The age old question. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Like, or I, dentures, I guess. I don't know. CTE would be bad, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. It's all our dentures, though. You know, like you couldn't like. Yeah, but I food. think CTE would be worse. I would think. I don't know. What would you? Would you? What know? would you rather? I, I don't we know. Love, what would you rather? I mean, <laughs> I, I guess if I had to pick one, I would want to do one for a day each, and then decide after that. <laughs> you get a trial <laughs> Try period. It out. Like, my My day with CTE. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take the driver's exam. <laughs> and then what? You probably wouldn't do good with CTE. No. You'd be getting headaches. You might I, snap. Especially me, because I'm not a very good driver at all. That's one of my biggest fears. How'd you in, get in here today? In a car that I drove. Are you safe? It, it, it was today was debatable because I was in a hurry to get here. I'm like <clears> ten <throat> minutes early, you know. I had some people honk at me, you know. I was committed though. I was committed to getting here on time. Did you put your seatbelt on? Of course. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. I do. Yeah, I always wear my seatbelt, man. Yeah, might as but, well. Like, see, in Austin, it traffic's nuts, though, man. Like, I, I, I like, like doing shows when it's like downtown, you know, like, and everybody's downtown. Like, I, I get anxiety. Wait, we got away from it. How many <laughs> girls have you slept <laughs> with in the past week? He's complaining about traffic. No, Hold on. No, what but, have you been? So, do you sleep with a so, lot? <laughs> so, no, zero. But okay. there's, they're Just interconnected. Wondering. They're interconnected though, because. I can't drive a car very well, and I feel like I'm such a bad driver that it would make a woman not want to sleep with me, even though she's already agreed to go home with me. Mm. Like, she'll back out because I can't back out of a parking spot. Like, I, I get anxiety every time. Has it ever, has it happened before where a girl has got in your car and then No, you... no. So let's just get to the point where you got a girl in your car. You don't need to be worrying about, you drive just fine, I bet. Uh, no, that's not true. I mean, you'd be I just drive, fine. I, I drive, I drive probably a little bit better than people would expect because I'm very cautious. But that's just one of the many things. So no, I may, I came into comedy to get laid, <laughs> to get laid, and I'm an incel, and I need to get more laid. And I'm throwing more it out laid. there. I'm like, yeah, more laid. I, I'm, more I'm here sex. for more sex. More better. While wow, it's happening. I want better a pound. Pizza. I want a pound <laughs> pussy deeper. I'm on Instagram. You know, if you're on Instagram, what dating apps are you on? Um, so I'm on Tinder. I'm gonna put this tender. tender. How often do you? How often are you on something like that? Do you ever match with people? Um. Yeah. I go. Okay. So at lunch today, I uh, okay. So I had two matches, right? Mm-hmm. And then when I opened just up, at uh, lunch today, just at, at lunch, lunch yeah. today. Yeah. it was it was damn uh, business lunch. Uh, it was, it was uh, <laughs> yeah. You can it was say a good that. Day. It was a good day because it right. doesn't usually happen. Like you know what I'm saying. Two and two at no, lunch. No, no, that's no, great. No, no. Two, two no. by lunch. <laughs> Dang. But then then when I opened up the app, one was it was just one. Whoa! So, so what does that mean? Yeah, so somebody unliked me in the time that I saw that oh, I had whatever. two likes. That's hurtful. Kind yeah. Of. Well, and it's like no, it's, it's probably hurtful. like an OnlyFans girl though, you know, or something, right? Or yeah, I don't know. Girl. Could be. Yeah. yeah. Leading you. Could be saying, yeah. "Come find me." <laughs> Some fat chick. <laughs> yeah. Have you That's... ever met up with a girl on from? T- have you ever met up with somebody on a dating app? Yeah, from OK Cupid, not from. Not from ten. How did that go? Uh so that was interesting, <laughs> man. Like, how long ago was this? Uh so this was probably four or five years ago. Oh okay, God. it was a while back. Yeah, so it was a while back. Um, uh, I I, I don't know. Like, okay, you know, I'm on the William F. Montgomery show. All right, I'm getting real. This I'm is getting really putting you out there. Yeah, but <laughs> so it was like this lady who 
like had only one picture on her profile, right? Yeah. And I, I really don't know what she looks like. And I get there. And it's a really nice place, right? It seems like a fairly nice apartment complex. So you're going there. to her place. Yeah, I'm Whoa. going to her place. But I get What, there. with the intention of, like, having sex? Yeah, dude. We're hooking did up. Did you bring dude. a condom? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> and y'all had never met before? Never and met. And you just had the one picture that you kind of yeah. didn't know what she looks like? <laughs> yeah, so Were you kind of like, nervous? Or yeah. just excited? Yeah, Throwing course, a dart yeah. in the dark, dude. <laughs> but, so I, was, I wasn't that nervous, though, because... Throwing a pickle down a hallway. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I, wasn't I wasn't that. talking about that. I, uh, um, uh, so I wasn't nervous. What is that, I a penis thing? I figured it's, it's like a penis, a penis in a very wide cavernous vagina. Like, I see, I see. If you were to sleep with one of the girls from like my 500 pound life, Six hundred. Like like Six hundred pound down, life, by the way. Yeah. My five hundred pound life is when, small. is when they're doing a little better. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. They <laughs> lost. They lost hundred pounds. It's yes. when they're feeling a little better. <laughs> Those people always have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah, mean, John, if they can do it, <laughs> they dude, all, you can meet somebody. True. I think they yeah. must be like a government check or something for being their <laughs> aid. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and the other person's just helping them out, <laughs> bringing them food <laughs> all the time. Be that's got to be like a fetish thing, too. You know what I'm saying? It like, must be because they're like, normal sized people a lot of the time. Like, you know, those people, have you ever heard of those people that like have fat people jump on them and then like, they just like absorb like all the skin and shit? <laughs> <laughs> a gremlin? I think it's called a gremlin. No, dude. It's a <laughs> What's it called? Thing. I don't know what but they like. So you just like splay down on a bed with your like, arms and like legs spread out, right? And then a fat chick like just jumps on you and then. Like, Wouldn't that like, hurt? Overrules. Yeah, like that's a part of it, dude. It's like a Maybe BDSM they're... thing. But it also feels like very comforting because like all the like their, their entire body like encapsulates. So how was the lady you <laughs> met? Oh, so it was a nice place, but I get there. And there's no furniture. There's just like a mattress on the floor, right? Oh, no. God. Uh, perfect. Are perfect. You kidding? Mattress it's on just the floor. a fuck shack. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, yeah, dude. Dude, like, so was she nice? I, I mean, like. Yes and no, no, no. She, Wait, hold on. So did. you open the door, <laughs> so, so you knock on the door, like, and then what happens? Does she look how you so think she's going to look? That's a difficult question because she was friendly, but she bit me. You know what I'm saying? What's so, going on? Oh, so. <laughs> Your story. She was a, she was a, she bit, but, uh, like, so what happened was, like, she just like split up with her boyfriend or something like that. And that's why she or only had a mattress. Her boyfriend was like paying for her apartment, but oh, not no. living there. And like came and apparently like he threw her out a window or something. Right. And she was like all cut up and shit. <laughs> it was, what? it was so dark. It was so dark. But and it was probably um, literally dark in the apartment. There weren't any lamps. There was nothing. Wait, how did yeah. she look though? Did she look all right? I, mean, I, I don't know if I want to like, because the point of this is no to one's be, like, gonna be able to suss on. out who she is. Oh, like, wait, so like, what, what if like? So the point of me saying this is to get laid eventually. Like that's my end goal is to be a slut. Like I want to be a man slut. I just yeah. want to bang. Have you ever been to the mall? Uh, I mean, yeah, like not lots in a of long girls time. there. Yeah, meet somebody at the mall. Yeah, mm. mall, they work in all those stores. Lots of ladies. In, in, in like in like today's times though, because I heard like a lot of malls were just kind of shut down. No, then we go to the mall all the There's time. There's a very active mall here. Lots of girls. Yeah. yeah. Chicks everywhere. That's, I don't know. Victoria's Secret. I feel, oh, dude, no. Box lunch. Uh-uh. Would you like, walk in a Victoria's what, Secret what, what, in the mall? Macy's. Box lunch. That's what he's looking for. <laughs> <laughs> box yeah. lunch, dude. Yeah. Hey, I heard you had a box that I could eat out. Dude. <laughs> yes. Hey. Well, yeah. I hope you don't say yeah. that to people. Oh, no, can I say that at the box lunch place? Hey, I heard yeah, you have a vest. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> then, it's all, like, then it's all slick and like punny. <laughs> you know? Just a girl with the like, orange Julius at wait, the mall. Wait, wait, just wait. Saying, can, can I get it for here or to eat out? <laughs> yeah. That'd be yeah. classic. Yeah, dude. You should try it. Yeah. So I heard I heard a lot of the food here vaguely smells like fish. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> what did the girl look like? Uh so I, yeah. I real, like, no, I, I, okay, I'll, I'll be real. She looked like an abused Muppet. Like Oh uh, god. Like like no, but like if like the Muppets did a thing on like a like a like domestic abuse, that's kind of what it, like she had like the face of like a Muppet, like animal, and, like no, like the like the uh, no, not like an animal, but like if Jim Henson, like, yeah, from the animal. Muppets, like if like animal this... the Muppet, you're not familiar with animal. He's the oh, he's the wild one. Oh, he's the wild drummer. He's the one that goes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> no, who's the one that makes the noise? Is it Moog or whatever? Like, Moog? <laughs> is <laughs> Moog? Uh, I don't think I've heard of <laughs> Moog. Out the... like, here like, making up Muppets, bro. No, the, the king of like improv. A, the one that's like a, <laughs> the one that's like a, like a orange pencil, like cylindrical tube. And he's like, he's Beaker. Like a, Beaker. Yeah. <laughs> Moog. Hey, what did you say? The that's guy. sweet. You were picturing Beaker and calling him Moog. No, what's his, <laughs> what, what's his, sweet. The orange oh, no. pencil. What, what's his uh, What's his sound that he makes though? Me. Oh, oh, he <laughs> <laughs> was, he says moog. Moog. It's just meep. Moog. That's that's Me- what that's what the there lady. could be one that does make that noise. I don't know. M- maybe I think he like made that noise. Jim Henson that's... died of strep throat. I know. <laughs> no shit. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. We love. Well, yeah. You think at the end he was going me. No, hell no. He's he was not the voice and... of Beaker. Yeah, and he wasn't the uh, voice of Beaker. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> me. That you could be nice. in the remake. Yeah, no, if like Beaker dies in strep throat. Then you can be in yeah, the dude. remake. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. I, I think that would be a pretty tribute. Hey, so like, I've thought about this a lot. Well. You know, if we do Back to the Future 4... Is it, They're not is doing it, a Back to the Future <laughs> 4. No, but like, I'm saying a They're Back to the Future 4. They're not doing no, it. No, like, hold on a second. Mm. Hold on a second. Where Marty has Parkinson's disease. Stop. And they work that into the plot. Get real. Yeah, get real. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, then they move. can go back in the future and fix it. Yeah, no. So I think oh. his son is the one that has to go back this time. And, and he ba- faces like a moral dilemma. Like, I have to go back in time and save the planet, but my, I might have Parkinson's disease like my dad. Mm. You know, so that's his dilemma the whole time. What would you do in that situation? Uh, would well, you save I'm, the world? See, or? I, I think that I'm already just like a little bit disabled. So I'm not starting off at like, a, you know, square one. So I'd probably yeah. be more likely to do that, you know? Cause, Fair enough. Yeah, probably. It's very brave. Yeah. And also time it travel. Time travel would be great. Like, mm-hmm. you know, to experience like fucking time travel, dude. Yeah. What would be the first thing you would do if you could travel back in time? So I would never go back in time to anywhere before 1991 because that's when I was born. I don't want to take that risk because I feel like even if you don't interact with the people that you know, right, like you're still going to run the risk of like running into someone that ran into someone that your parents knew Butterfly and then you're fucked, fat. dude. Yeah, it's like the picture in Back <laughs> to the Future. So I think where I would go What is... was his name in Butterfly Effect? Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, Ashton. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Ashton Dude. would do. He got no arm, he got no you. leg, and he's stuck in the bathtub. Oh, yeah, Remember? that was a bad God. Way. And they put the bomb thing in the mailbox mm-hmm. and somehow so, blew off his arm and leg. I, I mean, probably... <laughs> These things happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did it blow off everything? Like, it, I thought he was like a, para, like a quadriplegic. I thought he had no arm or no leg as well. And then that one guy's taking the videos and pictures of the kids down there. God, the that, butterfly. That was, in the, that was in the unrated Brutal. version where he had all limbs blown off. Oh, really? The, you all, saw all the, the unrated version yeah. of that? Where'd yeah. you get your hands on that, you greasy guy? Um, <laughs> it was <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> in Pakistan at one of those booths that had butterfly effect written on it, misspelled. One of the butterfly effect Yeah. Booths. Yeah. yeah, and then I've heard of those. The yeah. butterfly effect of me getting that movie it was actually a bomb went off at that stand, dude. The guy lost his arms, and a no. DVD flew in the air. And he got it. <laughs> <laughs> he caught it like a pop yeah. fly in the outfield. Dude, dude, yeah, you can you, you can see it on ESPN.com. It's one of the greatest catches of all time. You know? You know, it's, it's number it's, nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's you and marketing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it would have been higher up, but I was on steroids at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I was taking well, anabolic steroids. That, well, that so anyway, <laughs> this lady that I that I was that I met up with, um, very sad lady. Like, so I wasn't nervous because she was like hooking up with me, right? So it's like. She's hooking, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like anybody that hooks up with me, like, the way she wanted to, I, I just wasn't very nervous. And What does that, what does that but, mean? Because it's like, it's not like she's like, she had one picture of herself. It's not like we're dealing with, like, a 10 here either. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, she's. What would you rate her from 1 to 10? Probably, like, bottom 5. 
Bottom five. <laughs> bottom five. <laughs> I would be like, I'm, I'm being generous, you know, like maybe yeah. there's a. Well, a yeah, she had cuts all over her. <laughs> well, she no. literally. I don't think you should have been sleeping <laughs> with this girl. You, you, you could have gotten her some help. Like, so, <laughs> well, yeah, I was, I was a young man of 26 years old at the time. Okay. <laughs> Still yeah. naive to the I'm 27. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's not like she was in like immediate danger. Okay, God damn it. You're right. I should have gotten her house. That's the wrong thing probably in that situation. Butterfly effect. Uh, yeah, you just felt bad because she was sad. <laughs> yeah. I felt bad because she was sad and she would have been uh, ugly. How do you know she didn't cut herself? I, I don't know. No. Like she yeah, was she lying she about the whole like, boyfriend thing? I'm not. I'm not it's you said she was sad. It's been a while since I've seen CSI Miami, but I feel like she was thrown out of something. Mm. Like, it's just what it looked like to Did me. Did y'all have sex on the mattress? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, so that that was the other thing that, like, I, I can't tell anybody about this episode now, but. Do your parents <laughs> watch this? Uh, well. No, they're not going to watch it. Yeah. I guess I can talk about it. So that's the other thing with like... Because like, like, your parents are... Hooking up with like ugly chicks though. And no, I can't. Is this, this might sound super... I just want to preface this. I know I'm not a prize. I apologize. Stop. But with, like... No. So... You are. Okay. And you're going to go so, to the mall. We this... might need to go to the mall after this I'll, and talk we'll... to some nice girls. We'll take you to the mall. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go to the what mall. What was that store called? Um, Box Claire's. Lunch. We can go to Box Lunch. Claire's. Claire's. Box Lunch? Claire's would be a good Only one. Only women work at Claire's. Like, Auntie Anne's. I think we should go Annie to Claire's. Anne's, the one then... upstairs is better. To Annie uh, Anne's upstairs. We can go there, get some pretzels. <laughs> I, I think we should go to Claire's and do the Box Lunch pickup We can get line. your ears pierced. Yeah, do you, oh, would you ever do that? I did that for a girl once. What about a makeover? Like, ooh, Mac, Sephora. Like, makeover. Is that, that sound, that's pretty woke. It's like Austin. Like, if like a Gen Z chick works at like the makeup place, she'd be like, this guy doesn't care about gender norms. Mm. What, say, just by looking at you, she's going to say that? It'll, but if I get a makeover, right? <laughs> Isn't that like, yeah, maybe that could be, right? it. yeah. Like, I feel like if I get a makeover, that means I don't care about like, Traditional masculinity or anything like that, right? I don't know. That's, that's, you, that's that your means. bitch ass, dude. Pugging a blanket. <laughs> Pugging a blanket. <laughs> Pugging a blanket. Dude. That, 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 like, that we'll go to the mall. Like when I'm like constipated, dude. Like, <laughs> like. Are you constipated often? No, I, I, I was constipated before I got here just because of the you nerves. Are. And I, I'm not. Because you were on like, Tinder <laughs> swiping through. <laughs> yeah, dude. It like. Be it, careful it, it, meeting people. Somebody's going to hurt your ass on that thing, John. I'm not even no, kidding. I, Somebody's going to murder you. You I, have to be careful. I, I don't think that, like, uh, that's a problem because I just haven't gone out to meet anybody. Even since I moved to Austin. And, like, that's why I'm disappointed in myself because mm. I'm a famous comedian now, guys. I'm famous, guys. I've built a profile. You can right? meet people. No, okay, I'm not famous, but I have enough pictures of me doing stand-up in front of an audience to make it look like somebody you might want to talk to, right? Mm. To like deceive people. Well, you're gonna meet somebody. Yeah. So, um, like, I got some good pickup lines. Okay. What's your pickup line? So this is a ripoff of another pickup line, but I think mine's better. Okay. Yo, girl, I robbed the ABCs because I wanted to see you tonight. C spelled letter C. You spelled better you. Wait, Why say it robbed? again. <laughs> Why he robbed Wait, it? Wait, say it again. Why is it robbed? <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, girl, I robbed the ABCs because I want to see you tonight. So you say see ABCs, you. so yeah. saying see you, those are two different letters. <laughs> so it's because you said ABCs before you can say the two extra letters because you've already said the. No, I'm saying like, you know, no, it's like the C and the U of the alphabet are missing because I robbed them. To see you tonight. Maybe you should explain a little bit. <laughs> maybe you should maybe you should say, Yo, little mama, I robbed the ABCs because I want to see you tonight. I took the C and U from the ABCs and I own them now. Yeah. And I would love to see you tonight. Tonight. Too. <laughs> yeah. Damn. yeah. Say that. That's I like, would explain it a little more. Explain like, a little because, bit more. Yeah. That's like because it's like, not immediately clear. That's like Death Cab for Cutie level shit right there. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's pretty deep. Like, yeah, I could put that on Hinge.com. Like, put like a guitar thing behind it. You know, 
Hey girl, Rob the ABCs. What are you is on Hinge.com? <laughs> what is Hinge.com? Uh, uh, it's for unhinged people, you know, people that have been 51. No, it's a uh, so Hinge is the people one people who have been 51, what? 5150. <laughs> oh, Baker acted? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of Baker acted people. On yeah. There. So 5150 is when like you say you're like suicidal or someone says you're suicidal. And then you get to get like immediately put into like a mental hospital. Oh, and I see. Hinge is like a dating app for those people, you know. Like, yeah, it's like cool. There's like a 72 hour free trial period. Uh, anyway, no, Hinge <laughs> is a dating app where um you can message them first, and there's also like sound clips. So cool. Yeah. Um. Are other you... other great pickup lines. Uh, let's see. Um. Okay. I don't. I don't have any. So. I don't. I don't actually. That's the only one I have. It's just that's that all you have. You brought that up, and that's all. I thought you had a bunch of the pickup lines. I'm still like thinking think about of... the Santa Claus thing. You no. do, you don't like Christmas? Mm-mm. No. Open your heart up a little bit, John. I don't. It's not that I don't like. <laughs> Christmas. Open your heart up. No, a little I like. Bit. I like Christmas. I like watching Christmas movies on Christmas Day. I like being with family. I just don't understand why Christmas has gotten longer. Yeah, I don't know. No, it just feels like it has. <laughs> like, it starts at November 1st now. Yeah, it's a long Christmas. Grant, you think it's a long Christmas, too? Grant says it all the time. Long Christmas, baby. <laughs> Grant, so hold on. What's going on? What happened with the last episode? You told me so the sound was all messed up. The gif ruined Why it. have you <laughs> been sabotaging this? What's going on? We haven't been talking as much yeah. after this. It's super awkward. Have you noticed that, Casey? Yeah, there seems to be the type of tension you could cut with a damn knife. Yeah, I mean, what has happened, Grant? And you were extra weird with John earlier. Yeah. Did you feel that? Yeah, he wouldn't make eye contact with me. He unplugged your headphones. Yeah, he unplugged my headphones. I feel like he called me a bitch under his breath. (laughs) I I tried to say it out loud. It was when the headphones. (laughs) It was when the headphones were first turned on after we forgot to plug them in, Mm. and I feel like he thought they were still turned on. He had a hot mic. He had a hot mic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a hot mic. Such a bitch right now. So (laughs) can I? Can I? You fuck you, bitch. Boom. (laughs) I'm not taking it today, guys. Don't say it in front of Sam. I got a mute. Sam, I hear you. I'm I'm, I'm a new man, all right. I got I got two (laughs) weapons right here and right here. You know what I'm saying? I've been working out. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So I want to give you guys a situation that I was with or in after the secret show that I did. Yeah. Um, where two girls walked up to me and hugged me, right? Ooh. Right? Ooh, cool. They hugged me, right? Dead giveaway. And and I, I, I'm not saying that I could have gotten laid, but I'm bothered because I didn't even ask them if I, I could buy them. If you drink. could. You know? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sad that I didn't ask Would if I could. Would you mind if I hit it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, something like that, though, right? Or something to, like, No, appreciate. not something like no, that. Not, not those direct words, exact words. So you... Saying, hey. You so you did comedy to get laid, and then you have opportunities, but then you don't. But I don't know if it was an opportunity or if it was Because you didn't like, ask. Well, well next time are you going to be more... To ask. No, <laughs> he see, said, I don't sh- ask like that. <laughs> okay. So, like, hey, you want to... Well, how do you... Ask? That's what I couldn't do. I couldn't figure out... You don't really ask. ask like that. I feel like they... Yeah, say a drink me. thing. That would yeah. be a good yeah. initiation, I would imagine. Yeah, and I don't I don't drink anymore, like just Red Bull, you know, but I can make that fun, you know? Just, just ask Red him Bull. to put Get the Red Bull in a water. cup so yeah, it looks like yeah. a drink. That sounds okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah do works. that next and, time, and, like, man. Make them think I'm drunk, but I'm not really. Because you may never get that there opportunity yeah. again, so I you have to be ready that. next time. <laughs> well, <laughs> there you go, yeah, dude. <laughs> like I'm getting a lot of new ideas from this Dahmer show I just watched. Oh right? gosh, yeah. Oof, tread um, lightly. <laughs> yeah. I, so I, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm not too fascinated by Dahmer. Like I thought the show was good. But there's this one story about a serial killer that I think is fascinating. Where, hmm. okay, so he got locked out of the car, right? He got locked out of the car, and the person, like, let him back in, like, unlocked the car. Ed like, Kemper? Yes, yeah. that's who it is. No, a lot of fun facts. And, and, yeah. so. and I, I feel like at that point, it's bad sportsmanship to kill um, that person. You know Wait, what, what happened? Because the serial killer was out of the car? Yeah. yeah the ser- oh. Well, he like uh, he would kidnap girls. He's a co-ed killer. He's in the Mind Hunter thing and everything. But uh, yeah, and he uh, abducted a girl, and she got away from him and got back into his car and locked the doors. 
<clears throat> so he couldn't get inside, and then he was able to convince her, like, "Hey, like, I was just messing around. It was a joke." Stop. That's what he would always tell people. Yeah. It's like I was just kidding. Like, you take you taking Ugh. this too serious. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, she let him back in. Yeah, and he killed her. And yeah. I'm just saying right. that's bad sportsmanship because, you know, they don't even know what's going on at that point. Come on. You tricked know, yeah. yeah. You know she what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Come on. It's called a trick or treat. Yeah. I just I, I just feel like it's not, it's like it's even like less ethical at that point, right? Because it's not even like a competition. You know, you're not even like having to try anymore. So yeah, let her love. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So, in terms of getting laid, guys, uh, you know, lots of serial killer facts. I feel like that would get him to like. Girls love over. that. Yeah, yes. go with they love you want to do. They like Dateline, forensic. True crime, yeah. 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 Start with Which that. Is, you know, that's really interesting because like 85% of those episodes are people killing their spouse, right? And like. Mm. I so feel you like, have to be ready once so you, you finally meet married. somebody yeah. and you marry somebody. Uh-huh. Don't. You have to be nice. I mean, I don't feel like that's. It's always that simple. It's like, <laughs> Fair enough. Like, like, is nice also not getting, like, a life insurance policy? You know? Yeah, you would need to get yeah. one of those. Okay. So, well, thank you so much for being on here today. We got you. And these things, I ate four mini bags. bags. I couldn't <laughs> stop. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> he was on vacation. What is it? It's a chocolate-covered macadamia nut. Oh, wow. Straight from the airplane. Thank you so much. Whoa, yum. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a big fan Aloha. of, like, uh, Almond Joys and uh, Nutmeg or uh, whatever. It's not yeah. coconut. Oh, well, it's, this feels similar to that kind of, right? Well, there's an almond. Yeah. Chocolate it's and it's almond. It's chocolate. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. I we should have brought Casey back. So I was just thinking that I almost feel kind of Damn. bad right now. It's okay. Oh. They were so. We, we still have, have some. some. I'll bring you oh, some next we time. We do have, have some. Have you had one yet, Casey? I don't need it. I'm going okay. to Dan's Are hamburger sure? stand after okay. this. We all know that. I don't <laughs> who Dan's is okay. good. Dan's He's a picky good. eater. He doesn't like oh. macadamia. Oh, really? You like I macadamia really. nuts? I love macadamia. Do okay. you? Okay. Oh. Yes. But you are a picky eater. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got this frozen banana thing. It wasn't even yogurt. It was just bananas, and they had this macadamia nut butter. Th- butter. What? What? It was the best that? thing I've ever had. Where, where did you? I couldn't stop Hawaii. eating sweets. Oh, that's, that's awesome. from Hawaii. That's awesome. Yeah, that's straight from Hawaii. Hello? We fucking missed the flight the first day, so then we had to. <laughs> no, it was or no, delayed. it was a ten-hour delay. It was a nightmare. Oh god, and, ten well, hours. That's, yeah. That's still so worth it, though. I've never been to Hawaii, man. It was Is, fun. So, it like, did you nice. guys? Do you guys do water? stuff like do you oh know, like, he just went to the beach I sat at the for beach eight the to entire... ten hours a day <laughs> wow. i was literally sitting that's out what there. he wanted to do it. he didn't want to do anything yeah i just wanted to sit it was great yeah, that's it no so that's what i want to do on it vacation. was beautiful um like yeah everyone wants an itinerary we did nothing like yeah. that's, except yeah. for go to the tommy bahama restaurant it's great highly recommend <laughs> yeah we went to the tommy bahama <laughs> restaurant that's, that's hopefully it was oh. <laughs> like tom what's tommy bahama the oh my clothing gosh. the hawaiian what? the yeah, like tommy bahama hawaiian shirts empire. and stuff I, i'm I've, yeah i've never heard of it i'm not familiar with it hold on a second yeah I we'll think look my it boss, up oh <laughs> you're late my for boss work might be texting me yeah i told okay, her we're done we're done John, well, right. where can cool. people find um, you so, on dating um, apps or? Uh, yeah, Hinge, my name's uh, Tender. My name's uh, uh, Jackoff Horner on dating apps. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh. It's just uh, <laughs> you know, on dating apps. Uh, I, my name's John. I'm 31. I like uh, long walks on the beach and pharmaceutical amphetamines. <laughs> um, uh, You're about to learn I'm how to also, ride a bike. I'm about to learn how to ride a bike combat. and swim and swim. Yes, yeah, swimming. And good. go to the potty by myself. Cool. Yeah. Stop. Big going to be a started, big summer. Don't starting, tell them the Sandy yeah, Claus like thing. <laughs> starting, starting after this episode, you know. Perfect. I'm cool. going to learn to go to the potty. And if by girls myself. hug you after a show or something, you should say, let's get a drink. Yeah. And then just ladies, pour your. Hug. And then be like, and it would pour be my perfect. And then you wouldn't yeah. have to worry about the potential weirdness from one of those apps, I would think. Yeah. I want to meet somebody. Meet somebody in this. I'm going to meet somebody organically after a show. And you then know, you'll maybe, get sick and tired of maybe them. cocaine or pharmaceutical <laughs> no, amphetamines will have to be involved. I will, yeah. I mean, no, you 50% won't. of marriages do end in divorce. You know, that is true. So there's a 50% chance yeah, I... that I'll get tired. <laughs> uh, open but, up your heart a little bit. Um, anyway, thank you so much for yeah, being Yeah, thank you for you. being on here. Thank you for being you. Please. Thank you for being you. Thanks. No, thank you so much, guys. Aloha. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> Thanks Mahalo. for listening. Here. You're great. Bye. Mahalo. Bye. Mahalo. Yeah. Mahalo. Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of the William Montgomery Show. 
Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.